live from the Mercedes-Benz Arena. Now, over the past two days, we saw South Korea's Genji Gold making a remarkable comeback to take the third-person perspective world title, taking home $600,000. But today is when the real fun starts because we've invited 40 of the world's best streamers team them up with 40 of the world's best players to compete in a charity showdown. They'll be playing four rounds on Erangel today in first person perspective, and the top three teams will win a share of $1 million for the charities of their choice. And I can't wait to see what happens when we put them to the test and throw them into that professional mix. But I've got three amazing streams to talk to before we really kick things off. But I can't get them on stage unless Mercedes-Benz Arena makes some noise. Are you ready, Mercedes-Benz Arena? Hang on, hang on, guys, come on. I'm talking about the Shroud. I'm talking about Dr. Disrespect. I'm talking about Ninja. Make some noise, Mercedes-Benz Arena. Thank you very much. I think that's about right. We're going to bring the boys on stage in a second, and I will start chatting to them. But don't forget, you can let us know what you're thinking on social media using the hashtag PGI2018 and the hashtag this is Berlin Royale. And Ninja joins me on stage right now. Hello, Ninja. Welcome to the arena. How does it feel to be here? Uh, it feels great. Is this working? Is this on? I it is. I, I think you're on. I think you're on. Otherwise, you have a beautiful face, and I'm just admiring it right Thank now. You. Thank you. Now, at Gamescom, nearly a year ago, you won the first Golden Pan PUBG's ever produced, and yeah. now we're here. How do you think the game has developed in that time? Um, honestly, I've been hearing a lot of good things from the pros saying it's going in the right direction. Uh, I myself have played it recently, and uh, we've had a couple practice rounds here. Uh, it's super... Oh, my God. This is too emotional uh, for me. Sorry, this sorry. is too emotional I already. Here, the bromance in the way. It's, it's day one. Now, so tall, Dr. Disrespect, you are so tall. I'm going to move you over here because the cameras are over there, my right friends. The cameras. You're, you're in the game. Your head is in the game, I can tell. Ninja, I want to ask you also about charity yes. because if you win today, you'll have raised quite a lot for charity, I believe. Yeah, it'll be, uh, if we win this one, it'll be over a million dollars raised in like seven months total. Even if you take third, which is $100,000, yeah. split yeah. between four, yeah. you'll still have made enough. I think we'll have made over a million dollars. That's here. incredible. And you're playing with the boys from Team Gates oh today. Yeah. You're playing with Mossy, and I think you're playing with Mortify as well. Yes. Morty, yes. how have the scrims gone? Uh, we've only had like two games. One game, uh, Josh didn't make it in, but another game, we you know we went over our strategy. We looted up pretty good, and we're we're feeling good. And the communication was there. So. And Josh OG has been playing Player Unknown's mods since the Armor Two day, oh yeah. so he's very experienced. You're lucky to have him on I your team. I'm very confident. Shroud, I want to ask oh, you about is. Twitch Rivals because you've been playing with some phenomenal streamers, not against the pros, I have to say, but how has it been like for you to practice with Twitch Rivals? Let me make sure this is work. It works. Yeah. You're okay. on. You're on, man. You're on. Okay. Um, yeah, I haven't played against pros. I'm excited for that. I know a lot of people are because they've never seen that before. I just play like casually pubs. Um, and on top of that, the land client. I've never played land PUBG, so I'm super excited to see how it feels, how the lead, how the lead's going to change everything. Do you um, think that your experience as a Counter-Strike pro for Cloud9 has given you the edge over someone like Dr. Disrespect? Because you're used to playing in big spaces like this, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, that experience doesn't matter. I just, you know, I know, I know I'm better than Doc, so I got that over but him. But you I have to break this to you. You're on the same team. You're on the same team. How does that feel to be blasted by your own teammate, Doc? It's not, it's, it's t trust me, it's not a good feeling, okay? <laughs> But you're going to rise above, right? You're going to rise oh, to the tip oh, of the top. Me. Listen, one of the games, I'm actually walking away from the station. I'm going to go get something to eat. I'm going to come back uh, when there's a top 10 situation. I'm going to clean up the rest of the uh, rest of the survivors. I mean, and if Ninja's one of them, Oof. <laughs> oh, he's coming for you, Ninja. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, though, we did see Shroud carry you sometimes at DreamHack Austin, didn't we, Doc? So if you walk away, it doesn't really matter, does it? Oh, my God. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> I'm only joking, Doc. It's such a pleasure to ha have you here. I mean, are there any Doc fans in the audience? You never underestimate the two-time. Now, I've got to ask you guys, who does the money go to if you come in the top three today? Doc, we'll start with you. For me, it's probably going to be some somebody local in San Diego, California. Maybe Rady's Children uh, Hospital, but uh, certainly someone local. I'm going to be honest, I actually haven't even thought of it. I have no clue. Wow. Wow. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I, he's, a, he's your teammate. 
I'll, I'll go. I might go with you. Double up. Whatever pay. you pick. Yeah. Okay, good. I mean, you are playing with ghosts as well today, aren't you? So maybe you could ask Balak and McCoy what they think. Yeah, I, th I think they actually you have. You can't keep the money. You got to give it away. Yeah. I don't okay. I don't even, yeah. right. <laughs> and Ninja, tell me about who you'll be donating the money to. Um, it'll probably go to uh, Alzheimer's Research for sure. Brilliant. Well, I can't wait to see what happens. Now, you do have to play with the pros, though. Are you going to be doing what they tell you to do, Doc? Absolutely not. <laughs> right? I'm getting in a motorcycle, and I'm doing like a double backflip off the tallest mountain. Yeah, Which we're we're <laughs> actually going to tell them what to do. Yeah. We're controlling the whole we're, environment. We're in okay, control. so we're yeah. going to see some lovely romantic trips on a bike. I can't yep. wait. Yeah, there's I be cannot some wait. Some waist grabbing for sure. Yeah. Ninja, you've got a nice reputation. Do you ever trash talk boys like this? Um, no, no, no. I, I believe in karma, 100%. Okay. Uh, I used to all the time uh, <laughs> back in the Halo days, but I've definitely cleaned up my, my trash talking a little bit. But I'm just hoping for you know a good a good game, you know. A good Hopefully game. You guys get second, we get first. I'll be well, right go get clean, dirty, whatever you want to do, boys. Can't wait to see what happens. For me, I need to head off to watch the game. So let's head down to the analyst desk to see what the boys think of the competition.